Benji, welcome to my channel. I am Goldie Starling. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a very special collaboration video with some of my favorite people on YouTube and in general, favorite people on the planet, basically. Um, we've come together upon the theme of fairies in horror movies. And I thought maybe I would mix a vampire with a fairy and I'd have a blood sucking fae. So that's my interpretation of it. Please check out everybody else's interpretations. They are phenomenal. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You'll see a lot more stuff like this, especially coming up. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. I apologize. Some of this tutorial is going to be voiceover and some of it's going to be live action speaking. Anyway, this whole process started with a bald cap that I created on Brian Cranston's head. Do not ask how I came across his head, but I have it. And um, I just did layers of latex, probably about seven layers. And then I added these rows out of cotton. I basically just unrolled the cotton ball and created these rows. And then I am going to be painting this. Since it's latex, you want to use a castor based or a castor oil based um, paint. So I'm using a grease paint. This one's from the Jordan Cosmetics Flesh Tones palette. And I just sponged that all over the bald cap and powdered it profusely. Next, to break up some of that pasty, pasty flesh, I'm going to be using this color called Lividity from PPI. It's a beautiful color, kind of a dark bruised purple. And I'm just sponging it onto the bald cap to break up the texture. And I'm also going to paint that onto the actual rose. I wanted the rose to be kind of prominent, so that's why I'm doing that. Then I'm going to be using this brush from V Neal, it's the texture number three, to create kind of a stippling action around the rose. Once I was pretty happy with that texture, I went in with some spots and I just freehanded some spots using an airbrush. And the color that I'm using is called Bruised Purple from Endura, which is European body art. It's really super simple to do these dots. You just kind of hold your airbrush. Sometimes you can make circles with it. Sometimes you can just hold it in place and it'll create these nice dots with the fused edges. And what's a fairy without a set of ears? So I did make a set as well and then just painted them the same as the ball cap. The trickiest part of this tutorial is applying a bald cap to myself, I would say. So if you have a friend to help you, definitely let them help you at this stage. But uh, basically I just started in the center and prosated down the centrist, centrist, is that a word? The center most point of the bald cap. When you're applying prosade, you want to make sure it dries before you actually set the bald cap into it. Otherwise it will not stick. And I just continued to do this around the perimeter of the bald cap. And then I also took a little bit of prosade on a Q-tip and just stippled it along the edge to help blend the edge down. Then of course I repeated this process with my ears. And let me tell you, it's really hard to glue things to your own ears as well. Okay, so at this point I have my bald cap on and I have my ears on. Now I'm gonna start painting and I'm going in with this grease paint from the Special Effects of Grease palette from Jordan. And I'm using the pinkish type color, which I use to color the bald cap as well. You wanna use a very nice big powder puff and start to powder that grease paint. Now I'm gonna take a sponge that I've picked little pieces out of and I've dipped it into Lividity, which is from the Necromania palette. This one, it's kind of a dark purple color. And what I'm going to do is break up the skin texture. As you can see how that works. You just kind of stipple the sponge onto the skin and it breaks up the skin texture and gives you kind of a pattern and also camouflages the bald cap, which is kind of what I'm going for at this point. My camera cut out on me there, sorry about that guys, but I'm taking this texture brush from V Neal and I'm kind of stippling it onto my brows and the inner socket of my eye, just to create some depth and shadow. Then I'm also going to contour my cheekbones with that, so let's just start using that sponge again to get some texture going down the actual neck, which I don't know if you can see my neck, I don't have one. It's non-existent, non-existent neck syndrome. If you feel comfortable, you can do this under your eye since it is an alcohol color. Your discretion is advised. 
So it's almost like little freckles. I am so looking like Yoda right now and I'm not mad at it. Does anybody remember the Yoda that I did many, many, many years ago? And go ahead and define your ears a little bit with that lividity. We're just putting that everywhere basically. Gonna move on to airbrush, everybody's favorite thing. And I'm gonna be using Endura alcohol based paint. And this is the color Bruise Purple. I have used it for all the dots and this bald cap. So I'm gonna use it also on my face and chest and neck and all that area. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops in my airbrush, thin it out a little bit with alcohol and get started. Gonna create basically circles and dots and just random patterns around, you know, the cheekbones, probably right here in the eyebrow, and along this area, so. Gonna add some black dots as well. This is PPI's FX Black. Another alcohol-based airbrush color. Now I'm gonna take that same foundation again that I used to cover my skin, and I'm just going to apply a really light layer on top of some of the spots, especially towards the center of the face. Felt like it was getting a little too overwhelming, shall we say. I'm gonna use a bit of this purple eyeshadow from the Makeup Forever Artist number two palette. This dark purple here. And I'm just going to place that kind of under the eye, intensify the eyes a bit even in the hollows of the eye make them look more terrifying. The lips are gonna be sort of like the rest of me, like some lividity stippled around. Now I'm just using that eyeshadow to kind of smudge it on top and deep in the purple. Real messy. For the teeth, I'm going to dry them off and then I'm going to use Zombified from this palette, which is from PPI. tastes so gross you guys it's so gross oh my god it's like the taste Ugh. <laughs> so gross it's supposed to taste like mint it tastes like <laughs> how am i supposed to turn my camera off really all right, my fairy darklings, thank you so much for watching this collaboration. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my co-conspirators. We have Heather, Lex, Bethany, and Claire, all incredible artists, and I really appreciate them being part of this collab. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy my channel, please subscribe and um, join in on the fun. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video very soon, and take care. Bye.